Welcome to How Do You Say Yarrows? How do you say yarrows? <laughs> How do you say yarrows? It'll be all the fun in the world. Hey guys! How do you say yarrows? Nice. Yo, uh, we want to let you know that today you should snack on. Oh yeah, snack it. Snack, snack it. it. Snack on. Snack on. Stay snacking. I'm friends. planning on snacking on. Yeah. Hard today. Yo, hard. So but excited. That's because maybe we've been looking forward to something. Ooh, what are we looking forward to? Ah, yeah, I get it. Yeah, okay, that. yeah, yeah. You're, I was trying to be. <laughs> I so, get it. Ah, high five. So, uh, you might be thinking of like, have Adam and Gabby just gone insane? Uh, yeah. Well, possibly. I mean, that's that's a, I think, a fair question any day. It's given. But. We're talking today about having things to look forward to. That's right. Is that the technical way that we wanted to embrace it? Yeah, I think so, yeah. yeah. The importance of having things to look forward to, yeah. we're going to break that down. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, let's ask, all right, so looking forward to things, huge, important. Do you feel like there's a mental health benefit before we even talk about, like, how to do this type yes. of thing? Mm -hmm. I, I do. I, what do you think here? Hashtag anticipation station. Whoa, that, <laughs> did you just come up with that? I did. Oh, okay, I was like, this is, that's impressive. Anticipation station. station. I like it. Yeah, all right. So Should what, we have an anticipation station in our home, like, in the future? Like, little ideas to throw up? Hashtag anticipation station. That could be fun. Yeah, yeah, like a little board of things to look forward to in the future. Yeah, okay, we're just brainstorming now. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, this is all new. Right, so, this is not planned. Okay, wait, so maybe we'll return to that. But, um, okay, so you asked... Do I think there's a mental health benefit? So you said yes, so tell us tell us what you think. Oh, I absolutely think there's a mental health benefit in the simple way of there is, you know, you, life it can be a little boring, it can be a little monotonous, it can be really tough at times, but having something to look forward to, I, I yet again, I've read articles on it, I don't have that immediately on my hand, but it is seemingly like that even though spontaneity is very fun, having something actually planned in advance is way better for you on the whole than just a random spontaneous occurrence because it gives you something to actively look towards. Right. So like, uh, I know um, a person I knew once said like, the moment they finished vacation, the they room. would start planning their next one so they could be ready. Ooh. Because it was like, you know, you, 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 I mean, most people only get a couple weeks off a year to go on vacation or spend time with their family like that. So they were saying, want to have that ready to go because I want to have that to look forward to because it's like oh okay I know what break is coming even if it's a long ways away oh I love that yeah. that's a great idea yeah no, so that's very true what do you think yeah I agree I think there is absolutely a mental health benefit I think meaning that it, it's it supports your um way of thinking your functioning in your mind and in like heart and body because also I think some of it is just being able to think positively about the future. Like think I, the, the sheer fact that you have something good to look forward to, and mm. it could be something so small or bigger, is um, it really helps you get through the given moment. Even if the given moment is really hard or just like, just boring or just difficult for whatever reason, I think being able to think that I have something good coming in my future, yeah. that future thinking, component is super important for people and really healthy for people that makes total and it gets sense. us you know like thinking you want to be thinking you want to be in the moment but it, it's helpful to think you have something good coming up in your future instead of just thinking like oh all my good things are in the past or i have yeah. nothing good going on at all that there's only misery and rain in the present and forever <laughs> yeah yeah and forever yeah. right forever. right in that moment you don't want to only be present thinking because you just can't you can't you know, sometimes the present is really, really hard and you need yeah. something else to think about. I learned a lot about this from my sister because she has always been line, like this. Right. Always been someone who's pushed us to mm -hmm. plan for fun things to happen. And, you know, for it's always, for example, like if, if someone has a birthday coming, okay. and, you know, I'm not always going to plan for my birthday because I'm like, ah, whatever, you know. And she's always like, you're going to want something to happen. Or like, you're gonna you're gonna want something. And she's right, like in the end, then I want light. something fun, right but I maybe road. didn't plan then for it. So I right learned to plan to for it. Or, you south. know, because um, my sister is, you know, we live in the world of 
illness because, you know, physical illness because she has ALS and it just affects everybody in the family and obviously most of all her. She has, you know, always led us in, I need something fun to look forward to to get me through this. Every day is so Use hard. Right lane to yeah. take a and right it turn really turn helps all of us to have something to look forward to. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, it does, yeah. That yeah, interesting. I know I've heard it too with like um, people that are in long distance relationships. Like they were saying, like one of the key ways to doing uh, being more successful at them. I, I have no idea if this is truthful, but they I was reading articles about like, okay, you're in this long distance relationship, and like very far, not like a uh, close type of thing, but like you're significant distances. And they were saying that one of the key ways of being more successful at it was Stay in the left the, before they left they had already picked the next days and made plans for when they were meeting next oh wow so it was like yeah you that was in like a miles, kind of like a ritual like we do not leave like until this is sit, uh, like you know this is part of the the going to visit each other process we have to have that time planned out i could see that making them really successful yeah i oh, man i that would be really hard Oh, very hard, but I, I totally get it. Like, yeah. because yet again, it's okay. You, we are, you know, I think that'd be especially hard of like, okay, say you're, you didn't, you had a fight or something like, yeah, we're planning exactly. to see each other again. <laughs> nope, nope, you got to be ready to go. Because it's if like, you value it. Yeah, that's yeah. the way to make it successful. Because you're saying your commitment's already back. Like, it's, wow. yeah, I want this. I'm ready to go again on it. Wow, I love that. Yeah. Okay, so yep. when you think about planning ahead, or uh, having something to look forward to. Yep. What is like the range that you think of for yourself that, that works for you? Like what are things, what will meet that need? Oh, like. You know, like, cause it could be anything from something really small to look forward to or something really big. Like what's the range that will meet the need for you? Oh, it depends on like what the thing is. Like vacation, I would love to plan like a year away. Oh, Because fine. that actually really helps me of like, uh, you know, I then I could solidify plans at work. Like, okay, I've got that day called off. I could That's move cool. forward. Like, yeah. and you know, I, I, you know, just kind of like that really makes a big difference to have that time to look forward to because I love vacation. I really love relaxing on that. So like something like that, like uh, literally you could not plan too far ahead for me to enjoy that. Uh, and actually like knowing like the shorter the time, it actually like lowers the enjoyment of it because it's like, Ooh, because yeah. half the benefit of it is like, oh, okay, you could be looking about this is happening there or like, you know, cramming a week ahead to me is more of like, oh, we're working on this versus like, oh, I just, you know, read. We're playing. Yeah, yeah, like, you know, I listened to a podcast about the destination or like, you know, uh, like looked up the food restaurants where it's like, oh, this is fun to imagine and think through versus like, oh, we are just uh, panic or not panicking, but we're just like, okay, we got to get all this done today. I love that. Yeah. I love that. But yeah. yeah, but then small things too. It's just like knowing, okay, there's a fun dinner coming up or something. Yes. Yeah. Yes. What I, about you? I, that makes me think of, um, you know, I don't know that I know anyone personally, and this is this is all personal. So other people, this could really work for them. But I would be. I think we talked about this early on in uh, actually at, when we were engaged. The idea of someone planning a vacation for you and surprising you with it. Right? Oh, yeah. And yep. how neither of us felt like that was something that we would mm -hmm. enjoy. And for several reasons, but one of them being because we do like the anticipation oh, of yeah. the trip. Like, I mean, you're paying, it, no matter what the trip is, it's going to cost finances, it's going to cost resources, time off of work, whatever, and like sacrifice, like other things. So it's like all of that becomes worth it when you get to like, beforehand tell people oh i'm going on this trip or you daydream about the trip totally or, true. as you said you look on cool instagram food videos of the trip whatever yeah. like all that you, is bank for the trip yeah absolutely yeah and the idea of someone kind of in you know all of a sudden saying you're going to fiji tomorrow it's like oh man i mean yeah i want to go to fiji tomorrow but now Ooh, i've just did wasted, i know you're interested in fiji i don't know i, I mean yeah. it, we're in pouring rain and 50 degree weather fiji sounds, nice, sounds yeah. good but you know it's like oh man i could have had months i could have milked this for months yeah you know like that could have gotten me through some tough times all these other months yeah and now it's like i'm going tomorrow and 
then it's gone. Like, I would have liked to daydream about this for a little bit beforehand. I would have enjoyed that. Oh, absolutely. I think that's so good. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like, you know, I like having a list on the phone with things of like, oh, this or that or like, oh, or yeah. even like, okay, you know, weirdly enough, like, yo, I'm prepping to shop before this. Like, I'm not yeah. a crazy shopper, but like, I got the list of things I want yeah. and need. Like, this is, oh, I can imagine I'm going to, I don't know, like, you know, usually I'll think like, Oh, we're going to Fuji. Oh, I want to make sure I have my GoPro things together so that way I could, uh, we could, if we're swimming or doing whatever, it's... Yeah! Yeah, so, uh, so, what, is there any, like, what about smaller things? What about small, yeah, okay, so smaller things, um, that work for me to just have something to look forward to. Yeah. Um, truly could be, um, like, we are going, uh, for a special meal. Yep. Um. And that could mean, like, it doesn't have to be a whole meal. It could be, like, a special dessert. It could be um, even, like, uh, no, like, a special dessert is, like, the best example of, like, bringing that down from something else, that, uh, something to look forward to. Um, uh, it could be something smaller to look forward to is, like, if there is a really good movie that came out, yeah. either in the theaters or now it's all the streaming services. And between our family... Um, and some friends, we share like different streaming services. So, you know, Don't it, name could, names. Yeah. <laughs> it could mean that yeah. we, you know, whatever it is, is coming out on one of those streaming services that we have access to because of that, you know, community. And so then we'll be like, oh, all right, everybody, we're going to, that's coming out soon. Like, we're all going to watch that when it comes out. Mm. And it's just like, that's going to be a really fun night. We'll probably make something fun to eat at home. And that's going to be a fun night. And I will look, like, that'll be something oh, yeah. I'll be like, great, that'll get me through the work week or even, like, two work weeks if we have to wait for the movie. Oh, like, so I'm, long. I'm fine waiting. Personally, I'm fine waiting for things like that, like the movie. Yeah. Um, but, you know, because it's like, all right, we have that night. Like, that night's going to be hooked up. I know yeah. that's going to be a good night. Okay, so this is interesting, a little non sequitur yeah. here. But I'm thinking, I wonder for TV shows then, like, okay, obviously with the oh. age of Netflix, is there a joy, is there, like, I wonder, I have no idea if there was a study done on this, Ooh. if somebody knows it, is it like, do you get more enjoyment when you watch shows like on the weekly looking forward Whoa. to something, or like or a, the binge? or the binge, Whoa. because like, okay, so we watch Survivor and we have to do that kind of like in real time, yes. per se, right. so we like, but we look forward to that every week, that's true, but there are other shows like, I want to just binge, I don't want to wait every week, oh, yes, so I wonder if there is a difference of like, yeah. I wonder if one's more of like a reward versus like gluttony. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I, well, I, I do think, actually, there's yeah. something to what you're saying, because when you binge, and I, I've done it, like, oh, I, yeah. and I'll do it again. I've watched the shows <laughs> in succession, you know? I'm not saying it's a crime, but there there is something to the fact, there is always a point in there where now you're just kind of running through the show. Yeah, yeah. But you're not really enjoying the show. You're not, like, if you're watching it with someone, you're not talking about every episode. You're just like, oh, next episode started. If you run to pee, you run to pee. That's it. Like, no one's yeah. talking about it. Whereas with Survivor, we do because we have to wait for each episode. We all talk about what happened in the episode before and after. Yeah, yeah, it's a conversation. There's a lot more conversation. And it's not like I'm, like, thinking about all week, but I am like, oh, that's going to be fun. I'm excited for the next episode. Yep. Ooh, that's interesting. That okay. is very interesting, Adam. I think that's something to think about. Yeah. Something to look forward to, yeah. We, we all need those things to just keep looking forward I'll to. I'll say even smaller things, you know, that we look forward to. So we have youth on Friday night. Yeah. And we... It's a late look, night. It's a late night. And we look forward to, when possible, if we don't have plans early the next Saturday morning, we mm -hmm. really look forward to a fun breakfast. Pancakes. We love pancakes the next morning. It's like super comforting. We feel like we earned it, you know? Oh, you earned the pancake. It's so <laughs> brutal. feel like we so earned brutal. all the butter and the syrup on the pancakes. And, you know, it's just awesome. Every once in a while, we'll mix it up with, you know, bagel sandwiches. Oh, yeah. A little fun from Caesars down the road. Yeah, sometimes we'll switch it up. Adam might make a soup light, but it's like we're it's like at the end of the night, we look at each other and we're like, what's the breakfast tomorrow? Like that. We, yeah, you we gotta, knew that we need was a reward coming. coming. Yeah, we, we knew it. Sometimes at the beginning of the night. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Sometimes the day before. Yes, I love that. Yeah. Oh, well, fun. So we encourage you guys, have something small to look forward to. And big. Plan the bigger events. It's just super fun. Yeah. And I will say the, the one piece of it, it's not only just the anticipation station of it, like the mental piece, but it's also like the super fun part of 
um, that, you know, when you plan, not that you have to be crazy planners, yeah. we're not crazy planners, but it, it makes the plans happen. If yeah, you no, do plan yeah. ahead with friends, you know, that you want to see. Things. Yeah, you'll actually see them. And I, I have found, like, as we get older, with some friends, we have to plan three months in advance. Yeah, yeah, the life gets more and more complex where you got it. Yeah, people have commitments and things yeah. that they do, different work schedules, it's just the way it is. Not everyone's on the same school schedule anymore, yeah, no, you know? Not in, yeah, yeah, it's your not, summers are not all off. Yeah, people don't live in the same areas, but even, even doing that, like, friends that live farther away or just have such different schedules, you know, we love them, and in order to see them, you might have to plan multiple months in advance, but if we do it, then we know we are going to get to see them. Yep, very true. And it's something we're positive. Yeah. Well, thanks for joining us on How Do You Say Yaros. Email us at howdoyousayyaros at gmail.com and follow me at Adam Yaros. Bye now. Bye.